Hello, friends. How's everybody doing? Uh, it's your friend Jeff playing Ultimate General Civil War with the JMP T10 test mod that I'm talking about here that's been going on for quite a while. Anyways, this is my f Thomas Jackson core. He's going to go in first, and these are the units that he has. And I have the weapons right here, as you can see. I, I like to have it like that. But anyways, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, he, here he, he needs to still get to his third uh, perk. So that's why he's going to go in first. I'm hoping that going in first means that these are the units that are going to be fighting. Of course, I don't know. I don't remember the game as much as I used to. But Now, Longstreet. Here, he, he's got three, so I don't worry about that. Robert E. Lee, of course, came like this, so I mean, that's good for him. And Albert Johnson, uh, he just got this, and he, he still can work on it, but he's got the three. And then, of course, here I am, and I already have this, because that's the main, me, I'm the main one that I've been doing. And you can see I have Forrest here, and he is... Like, if I were to add one or two more guys, he would lose this. So it's very hard to... But he's my first... Uh, I think he's my first infantry three-star unit. So, I mean, <laughs> you know I mean? There's only four battles left in this campaign. And it took me all this time to get somebody to be like this without playing... Without doing weird things to the config and trying to cheat and do stuff. You know what I mean? Like artillery, yeah, we can get three-star artillery. You can see that. I, we can do that. But it's very hard to do this. And that's why one of my biases or my pet peeves is the AI gets them for free. You know what I mean? Three-star units. But that's one of my things that I always kind of didn't disliked about the game. In order for us to get three stars, we we have to do a heck of a lot of manipulation and stuff. But anyways, and I don't have the patience for that. So, okay, so enough said. So I basically have two full cores and a half core, and that's all my units. I have no other units, uh, absolutely no other units. And so um, I usually like to show my armory, so I'll show my armory just for people who like to see this. Um, I think we have a decent amount of rifles. I mean, look at this. 52,000 uh, Springfield 61s. Now, um, you know, I mean, it's not bad. 60, melee of 60, that's not the best, but, you know, it's not bad. I mean, so basically I can make two cores with, with this here, so I don't, I don't have to buy anything, even though I do have you know, a good bit of money at the moment. Um, now, skirmish-wise, we have this, and we can always sell these things to make money if we needed money. Um, and then cavalry. And then the artillery. And I got 32 howitzers. I could buy some more. I could buy some more. This here I can make a unit because I, I usually make 12. So there's one unit here. This is three units here. Um, these, you know, I don't know if I'll get enough of these to make one more unit. I don't really know. Barracks wise, um, again, I can scroll this for a moment just to see. And yeah, I don't. I, I like the three star guys. So we have. I have, this is enough officers here to make two cores, I believe, like honestly, I've been buying these all along, and I've got, got a lot of wounded guys here, he, he Daryl's us, uh, Siegfried or whatever, he's, this guy I think is the, is the guy that started this campaign, and he, uh, he's still alive, like he's, he's wounded, but I mean, he's still alive in my campaign, kind of weird, usually I lose, those guys in the campaigns that I play usually but anyways okay so that's that and then career wise I'll show you that I know this is a big setup to do because we've got a nice big grand battle coming up but I'm gonna start rolling into economy because like I said the people ain't gonna do me any good 
Um, I got a, I, I got nearly a hundred thousand guys, so I can create two uh, rookie cores if I have to for uh, you know when it gets to the the, the end. But oops, sorry. Okay, so let's go ahead and I don't think there's oh, and I'll show you this here again. Uh, I have no veterans. But, you know, if you consider that I'm going to fight with two-star units, pretty much. Like, my goal was to get everybody to two stars if I could. Um, we're going to do it. So, okay, so now Cold Harbor's coming up. Now, this is the CSA one, so... Um, minus five enemy army size... Five, yeah, and okay, so it's fif minus fifteen percent army size now. These guys are up here like 158 to 163k, so I mean, a third and seventy percent armory, so that's pretty high, I think. Um, and Coal Harbor, it is. So let's go ahead and do it. Now I'll probably you know, break this battle up into sections uh, for the video and stuff like, I, I, don't, I don't know, let's just, unless something happens, but okay, right flank, see, I'm trying to remember these battles from the UI mod, and, you know, but like I said, it's not like we play this all the time, so it's hard to remember how this is, but it looks like it's set up like this, Got this. I don't know who's who of these flanks fights first. Like, do we start up here and then down or whatever? So, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put um like I don't know, but either way he's gonna get into the battle. I could be wrong because it looks like solid here. Like I don't know. Let me just go ahead and do this because it's a long opening of what I did. And so, anybody who wants to see the action, you know, um, I'm not in it. So let's go ahead. Now, of course, this is just the first day, so this, this is, it's, I don't believe that this is 65 against 13. Like, I, this is just the first day, so I mean, the first phase or whatever. Let, let's go ahead and see what this is. Okay, I just got to get reorientated to this. Oh yeah, so this... Yeah, I think we start down here. Yeah, I think... So I, so I think I did it right. I, I put the first core here to start. I think we do start right here, I think. Yeah. And then... They're showing, cause yeah, cause we're supposed to be on the defense. I think. Like, uh, okay. Yeah, cavalry controls. Oh, da, 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 yeah. Could claim victory early on. Yeah, we we. They're saying we could claim victory early on. Um, so it is possible. Like I don't know if they're saying if we if we hold this, which is okay. So from the UI mod, anyways, even if I come here and take this, they're gonna get a ton of uh, reinforcements here, and it's not gonna be you know, and that and they always push me off. So it's not like I I've ever really like okay. So I'm just gonna. I'm going to set up like I would if I was playing the UI mod. As I always mention, um, and I'm going in with this, and I could take these out and then cherry pick who I want in here. But I'm just going to try to go with this for now. Because I don't believe that they, 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 that they are going to do what they would do. Uh, to come and take my flag, like I, I, like I don't know. I mean, I can't speak for the JMPT10, so this is just a guess. But um, I'm guessing that I'm gonna go forward 
and 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 because we, we want kills so that's probably what i'm going to do i'll break skirmishes here to hold the line and then send a couple and then everybody's going to go forward and like i said if jmp did something silly by putting some people here or something because no okay i think normally what we can do is sit here have a couple of guns instead of all this infantry and i think their cav comes over here and we can shoot their cav but that's unsatisfying and things of that nature so i'm going to go ahead and hit start pause and we'll go to the menu and we'll save and i'm going to go up here and i go bg south uh 35 now you can see i put bg south 24 because i, I goofed up when i was playing the game and, and well i should be in the 30s and not the 20s so because i i go by the number like the number of the battle so so this is battle 35 and it and it and and, and these should have been 20 34 30 you know what i mean like i it's just kind of funny how i like like i said when, when you when you play through three games and two campaigns and stuff and i even play four and five games like i have to play two games with my daughter that that you'll never see because we don't do that uh, that's private but um so i play like five games and it gets very uh confusing uh, when i get back into this so that's why i made that mistake but anyways okay so now that you know my system we're gonna go ahead and bust these guys up like it's a common thing to do that now again in the jmp uh, configs um the one thing i don't let the ai do is i don't let them have uh, broken skirmishers from parent unit because in the original game they never could do that anyway so i'm keeping it but jmp made it but that just makes it more complicated and i, and I don't want too many complications um you know, I always felt the game was hard enough. And so, because the AI gets all free stuff, and and we do not. We have to work for everything that we have. And so that is kind of like my, my pet peeve of this game. Now, I don't think you can put anybody here. And then the uh, infantry... Well, I... Pr well, if I'm gonna have skirmishes there, I don't think they're gonna they are going to go on an offensive attack. But I could be wrong because this is the JMP and then, and as I had mentioned in prior videos which I'll do as commentary right now, um I don't know the the surprises that JMP put in here. And so therefore um this could all be wrong. But I know in the UI mod, they don't really come out here to take this flag. They just send like a few, like maybe one unit and they send like a cav. And we just sit here with a couple of guns and we blast away at them. But it's, it's totally, it's just not satisfying. Because the idea, and Panda Kraut and other people can back this up. The idea is to wear down the AI, like like to get get uh, kills and stuff. And you can't do that if you totally like like for example right here now. They got a 700 cav unit, big unit, and so my guys right now are gonna be able. Yeah, cause I think that's the limit. That's the limit that I put on them, actually. Yep, he's probably gonna charge me, but that's the limit that I put on the, a the AI and myself, by the way. I said I want cavalry at 750, because I think from the original game, the biggest cav unit that you could have in the vanilla game was 750, but the AI could go up to like a thousand, I think, uh, like nine something or whatever. And so, yeah, by me limit limiting them to 750, 
that's about the biggest that you should see unless Panda Crow and Johnny made some hard written hard hard written uh, things into the game. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about it. And the other thing too is, like I said, uh, in the UI mod, I have... Oh, they got a gun right there. So we got some cover right here, but... Okay, you. Okay, this skirmisher is, is holding you back, so... Yeah, why don't you get over here in the woods? You get right here. You get right there. Maybe you could get there. Maybe you could get right here. I don't know, but we're, we're gonna... Like I said, okay, so you can see right here, right? To me, it looks like... Even in the JP... Um, a skirmisher and cav would come and attack us at the initial one. And so, I believe... You know what I mean? Me just sitting back is, is, is going to be totally unsatisfying. Hey, now, you got somebody over there to shoot at. You get over here, please. Now, if there's nobody... You know, if they don't get anybody there, why don't you get over there? Then you got to get right here. Now, you shoot him. Maybe we can bring the gun up closer. Ammo. General. Ammo. Yeah. Because of course my, my worry in this would have been if they were to come around or something. But I think with enough of these guys here, at least we'd have the warning. I just kind of wanted these guys, if if they can get into some kind of cover. The only guy that's not going to be in cover is this guy. Oh, so they do have somebody right there. All right, can you move over like this then, maybe, Hayes? there and like I said my goal is not to just try to win right here if this is what could win a win I don't know it if it would but my goal is to just hurt them their initial units as much as I can Let's move the artillery a little bit closer. Alright, now what we're gonna do is go after that gun right there. Okay, so they started with skirmishers and the cavalry and the guns. But they're gonna get a whole bunch of infantry and more cav and all that other good stuff. According to this, we have two hours, but now we we could possibly kill their general if we stop right here, and, and then you shoot the general, and then you move up a little bit closer to get shots off, and you need to get really close. Ammo.
Now, I find it amazing that he's been able to be steady right here. Alright, let's get a little bit closer. Now, I gotta keep... I gotta keep a guy here because we gotta watch out for the cav coming down to try to get my supply wagon or something. Now, I didn't really want to cap the flag, but I do want a chance to eliminate um, the general or the guns or both if I can. And. The only way to do that is to make sure that these guys get over here to do this. Now, of course, this guy's going to shoot too. But let's try for the... All three units try for the artillery first. And then we'll hit the general. Because if we can convince him to give up or to... Or to just die. Yep, he died. Okay, so now... Oh, yeah, okay, now you want to shoot him, and that's okay. But you... And you go after him. Okay, so now we got this guy. You after him. You... you. Oh, we got another skirmisher right here. Okay, hold on. Alright, look. You can... You can shoot him. You're shooting him. You shoot him. And you come over here. Yeah, I mean, you really want to go against an infantry unit. Go right ahead. Okay, now you shoot the cav. Because he's going to try to flank you. You shoot him. Oh, so they already got some reinforcements. So this is going to get interesting. I don't know how long I want to commit to this. So why don't you go right there. You take a shot at him. Move forward. Move forward. Move forward. Now, we, we might have to retreat. Again. He sees that you're shooting, flanking him, so he's coming in on you. So you shoot at the cav. Alright, this is going to get very interesting. Uh, like I said, we want to hurt them as much as possible. But they've got their infantry units. This is their first reinforcements. They will get more. They will get more. Now, I don't know what happened to the cav. But like I said, I don't think they're gonna that Cav can take the flag. Oh no, you two on this gun right here. Okay, you get right here because he's coming in on you, so you're gonna have to get there. Okay, here's the cab. All right, it is. It's. It might be. Uh oh. Uh oh. What? What? Where? Okay, right here. Yeah, because that's what the AI likes to do. They like to charge. Okay, fall back. Fall back. And that way this guy can flank him. 
This guy can flank him. Go ahead and take a shot. Come on, Force. Shoot, 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 shoot. Yes, there you, that's it. Okay, now, now you need to fall back a little bit. And you can fall back a little bit. This hey this this the court leader right here. There, there he is. So we we're, we're keeping the skirmisher and the cab at bay. But we've got we got major problems. Oh, okay, fall back. About. Okay, charge, charge, charge. Now, pause. Fall back. Fall back because you're going to go into their stuff. Like, yeah, don't let him drag you into their crap. Let's just go ahead and... Uh, you can fire. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is, right? I mean, hey, you shoot him. You shoot him, buddy. You shoot him. What about? Okay, now you, you gotta fall back, my friend. You gotta fall back. Fall back. I know it's fun going after them and stuff, but... You know, you, you lost quite a bit, but it's okay. It's okay. I mean, the idea, like I said, I did me- Oh, now this skirmisher wants to mess things up. Hey! Now they are going to get more reinforcements, so it's not like I am trying to... Oh, and they got a gun right there. That's not good. And see, my line doesn't go down here, and I know they have. They might have units here. Um, they're not attacking my flag, so I'm not going to be too concerned with that. I'm just trying to get this guy out of here, you know what I mean? Like, if I can capture a unit, that is nice. Just, we're just trying now. Actually, my artillery would be better down here. Now, when they when they get when this bar gets even bigger, blue. Um, 
you will see that they've had they had twelve thousand. Yeah, they had 12,000. So, yeah. That cow wants to flank us. Okay, you got him to shoot at. So, you shoot at him. You get over there. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to judge how, you know what I mean, how, how much loss am I willing to take here on this opening uh, phase. Now you can see what's going on here, right? You can see the AI made a semi-circle and they're, and they're really... So his morale is gonna really go down, so my general probably has to get down over here. Now at some point I'm probably gonna have to retreat. He's only got 50, like I was hoping that he would have um, better protection here, so I didn't put him in perfectly. Yeah, I'm gonna need... I'm gonna need some protection over there, so we'll send these two over here. Yeah, I'll tell you that this is gonna get kinda ugly, I think, but... I don't know. Here, Cav. I don't know what happened to that skirmisher over there, so he's he's gonna come on down this way. Oh. Alright, so they're they're giving us a little hard time. Yeah, 
And we just wanted this guy. And let's see what he is. What does he have? He's got. Hey, he's got the Springfield 63s! Nice! Alright, so as you can see, they they've they've put their attack down here. I don't know if these guys are tired. No, he's, he's not even tired. Look, so come on, guys. Get over here. Ammo, come on down. Yeah, so it's good that we brought the uh, skirmishers over here to help out because, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like I honestly don't, you know, like, Somebody who plays the JMP mod uh, should tell me if when these infantry come in, do they actually attack us? Because, um, you know what I mean? Like, they're just going to attack with a skirmisher and cav, so that means I have to go on the attack. Okay, fall back. Fall back. Because we don't want you. This, actually, my gun should be able to shoot him. You should be able to shoot him. And why don't you shoot him too? Now, let's see. This is going to get ugly right here if he does make contact. Because the gun should shoot. Like, he's ready to shoot. Please shoot. Yeah, see, there we go. That's what we want. We wanted... We wanted the gun to shoot, and now he's he's gone. So now we... Continue. Now you two are going to hit that, that gun right there. And you're going to hit him. And you're coming over here to hit him. Alright? Now, I'd be shocked if they took my flag, but... Like I said, the uh, I'm doing this only in regards to the fact that... I don't... Even in the JP mod, which I don't know... I don't know if when... When they're... When they get their infantry... Like, we're not talking about their skirmishers, their artillery, and their cav. Because we know that they attack with the cav and one skirmisher. But when they get these infantry, do they just hold the line or do they come and attack? Is my, my question. Because I don't know and so I pursued this attack. And now you got to get over here to back these little guys up. Jackson, over here please. Now is this the same cab that started at 750? He's gonna kill my skirmishers. He's meleeing, so you should be able to shoot him. Yeah, because their, their cav, what they like to do is they go against the weakest unit and they try to eliminate them. And he'll try to do it again. So I'm hoping that... And then we'll just have him shoot him.
Now, if for any strange reason um, I hold this flag, even when they get their other reinforcements, um, do I win this battle right here and then? You know, which uh, would it, I don't. You know, like I said, if the goal is to is to get your guys more and more experience with the remaining four battles before you get to the grand battle. You know, and, and then the question would be, is it possible to get that supply wagon? Because I don't have calf. And look, if he wants to just sit here and get destroyed, then that's A-OK -okay for me. Because, you know, we don't need their Roman cab. Now, he's coming over here. I wonder if he's coming here to get this, or is he coming over to try to get my flag? Now, I do know that they're supposed to get another wave of reinforcements. So I guess I could use this as a test. Oh, yep. Now and, and now they're gonna get a little, little fancy. And our and our guys are much smaller, of course. But Oh, he did make contact, but he's he's done because the gunshot. See, and, and like I said, um, like what what uh, something Compass told me is uh, these disbands go right back into the army. So I mean, it's better to get captures. But you know, again, I I can't. I can't get captures if, you know what I mean, like I said, I don't have the manpower at the moment to get, to just charge in and wipe these guys out or get captures. You'd have to hit them all at once. So shooting has to be the way it is for now. And Jackson's going to take a shot at that. Like... Honestly, they are supposed to get another wave of units. Now, I don't know if JMP changed that. Oh, we don't know where that supply wagon went. Oh, there's two right here too, by the way. Is it there is there time like if it'd be awful if they get all their reinforcements right now and he gets killed, but you know what I mean, it's it's just a chance I'm taking. Alright, come on down just in case they do get a bunch. I do not know where that supply wagon went. Let's 
move a little bit closer. Yeah, these these uh, starting units are going to be really hurt. Charge him! Charge him! Charge him! Move over here. Alright, you come down here, ammo down here. Yeah, see, so I didn't get a capture, he just dissolves. I, I mean, that's what I'm saying. So you see, I tried to get a capture, because it would have been better to get a capture than disbanding. Hey, Jackson, over here, please. Okay, so now we have a chance of killing this artillery unit right here. So we'll try that. Hey, now we got this guy here. Jackson Jackson right over here okay you move forward 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 You shoot him, you shoot him, you get over here. Now, let's see, yeah, we, hey, there's another gun right here that we could possibly shoot at. So let's go ahead, please move forward. There's ammo over here. There's ammo over here. Yeah, we're gonna do that because we're we're telling these things to get out. So we got two supply wagons. And now these three somebody wants to charge, but uh I don't know who it is at this moment. I just want to get these guys to shoot at this gun right here. Matter of fact, you come over here and shoot at him. Because if we can wipe out their gun, then they won't have that gun. And we can take a look at this gun just to see... Oh, they had a James. Oh, we got 42 minutes, and like I said, so the thing that I I don't understand, unless unless they just got some units right now, I'm not sure. But I'm just gonna say, from what I remember in the UI mod of the base game, they they usually get a second wave. Now I wonder if JMP decided not to do that so they can have those units fight in the next phase because JMP kind of do those kind of things in some of the battles so I think that's maybe the case so now we're just gonna because if if that's what it is then then th then I would say for a BG 
uh, normal difficulty. Maybe they did that. I don't know if they do that for MG or Legendary, but um, I'm just going to take a guess. Unless they're still going to come in. So if you see this bomb blow up, then you know then you know that that is the case. Now I think those uh, those supply wagons must have left. I will attach those guys. Okay, so at least we're gonna know, um, uh, at least when I say we, at least I am gonna know if I hold this flag from the start of this battle, which wasn't my true intent at the at when I started this today, but, um, and if we get a victory, It'll be because they didn't get their third, their third, their second uh, reinforcements. Like they didn't get it. And I and I see that that supply wagon that I originally saw. So you go over to that one. You're tired, so you stop. You hold, okay? You move forward. Shoot the general. What? Are, huh, huh, yeah, he's not blocked. Trust me, he, he's not blocked. There is no way this guy is blocked. I mean, if we could get a lucky kill on their general, that would help the overall battle. But. Yeah, so I believe uh, we have one infantry, we have one, you know, James right here that we captured. And we captured two of the three supply wagons. I This one went hiding up here someplace where I was worried if they got their third wave or their second wave, then my general would get killed. You know, I was worried. I'm not... Like, if they come in at, at like, say, 25 or something, 25 minutes left, you know, that would suck, because then my general is up here, and maybe. General, try to get him. Now, you can see my units are really beat up. I mean, um, but, I, but it's only because they were only 1250. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I fight with, 1250. Unless, you know, I lose a battle or something, and then I have to pump them up to 1350, 1375, 14, or 1500. I usually don't go beyond 1500. Because I'm not a fan of gigantic units. But I do, allow, I do allow the infantry to get up to 2500 as the limitation. Like, whatever the base game limitations are, is what I place the JMP on. So just that, that's just to let you know, you're not going to see in my campaign 6,000 infantry man. Like, you ain't going to see 6,000 of these guys in one unit. There's no way I want that. That's, that's ridiculous. But that's just my opinion. For people who like that, that's fine. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying. I just like, like I said, I do watch some other people play this game in the past, and I have. And but anybody who has gigantic units, I don't watch it because it does not interest me. And that's why you do see me just play it with 1250. If I can, if I can win with just 1250, I'd be. Uh, that's what I'm gonna do. Now I only got 20 minutes to possibly tag that. But these guys have got to keep moving up if this is all that they have. And you guys can move over here. 
to protect the flag if we had to, but... 19 minutes. Yeah, so I don't know if they're going to get last minute uh, arrivals. Because how, how in the last minute... Oh, there it is right there. How in the last minute would they be able to walk from here uh, in desperation to capture wherever, this, this flag over here? Like, how could they... You know, I mean, that's not enough time. So come on, all we gotta do is tag this right here. And we'll have all three of their supply wagons. And we did. Like, I'd be shocked if, if five infantry just spawned here with some cav or something. But, 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 but I know from experience of playing the UI mod, which is kind of like playing the base game except with the UI mod, um, they, they do get another wave and they did not get And so that's, that's a change right there, I believe. But we're gonna see real shortly. Where's my gun? Let's get my gun back over there just for the heck of it. You can move, get some experience. I just don't want them to run after the the that. I wanna I wanna keep them pressured so they don't decide, oh I got all my energy, let's go ahead and get those that supply wagon back. And so, like I said, it looks like we've destroyed, uh, you know, like we, like I don't know about that, that skirmish unit over here, if he's hiding, but he didn't come and take my flag, and I, and I have, I only have, yeah, and I have this guy over here, so I can tell him to get over here, just for the heck of it, just to, for safe, oh, and I got him right here, so he can go right there. So these guys are going to get the lo last shots. Come on. They're going to get the last remaining shots. And um, so I'm just going to see. Now, like I said, if I, if I do get a victory here, which I don't, I hope I don't, I mean, if I do, um, cause I'll tell you in the UI mod, I could never, I, I'm going to tell you in the UI mod, I, I can, I can definitely say this. I've, I've never held this flag. Like, you know what I mean? Like when they get their third wave, um, they, they, this blue bar goes like really big and, um, and, and they push me out. And then when your units get like this and you don't have this as a reward, um, it kind of sucks that you get pushed back, but they don't do a big enough bat, a, a big enough, the, the, to me in the UI mod, they never pressured me at all if I were to just be defensive. And so you want to do something like this. Um... You know, to, 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 to hurt them as much as possible. But you're supposed to do it where you don't get hurt. Where you can see every one of my units. Other than this one. He's, he's got a thousand. Hey, and here's Kemper from the start of the campaign. Maybe. So, of course, we're not in cover. He is in cover. But he has three of us shooting at him, so... We ain't gonna get him. And this is gonna end in one way or the other. And we, if it goes to the next day, it'll go to a camp. It should go to a camp. 
And as you can see, they might, they might have, they have 200 and, yeah, so maybe, maybe that skirmisher. Ah, oh, yeah, see, it's a victory. Oh, jeez. It's a victory. It is a victory. Okay, so JMP made it so you can get a victory because they did not give you the second enemy wave. So as you can see what I just did, even though I took a lot of, you know, losses, um, now maybe some people would really like this to just move on and, and do it, but um, my other, my other units of this core, and my other core, and my other half core, don't get any experience if I do it this way. You see? And I can't look at this, and I probably should have. Hmm. All right, well, as you can see, according to this, they gave me whatever they gave me for units. I had 8,000, and I had a gun. And they had 11,000 infantry, which came as a, you know, their, their, their first reinforcement. Because at the start of this, they didn't have any infantry. They just had skirmishers, cav, and a gun. And then all their infantry comes in with another gun appears and two supply wagons. And so, yeah, um, boy, hmm. I have to decide, uh, okay, at least one must be, lose less than, yeah, so we're not supposed to lose 40% of, our, or more than 40% of our army. So it says all must be hold, 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 hold. So at least one whole old coal harbor. At least one hold. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I yeah, I don't. Uh, hmm. Yeah, this is for, I guess, people who want to just win, easily win without taking severe losses. So if I just accept what I lost, um, doesn't um, player casualties killed 666 wounded 1500 missing 294 captured zero I mean these guys they lost 7,000. They lost 500 something of cal uh, guns, I mean, and 600 of cav, and, and they're missing 921. So, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't technically... Yeah, I don't know, folks. Well, you know what I could do? I could save this. I could take the victory and save it. 
and then restart again um, fight the battle again as part two I guess and and not take this flag you know what I mean like so that way I can go deeper into the battle because showing you this way you, you don't get to see the battle the whole battle you just see this one phase and that's not you know now maybe if I could do this for Washington maybe that would be worth it but not not Cole Harbor I mean I, I need I you know what I'm saying all right so anyways <clears throat> I'm just saying um, this is proof I guess this is proof if you hold that flag and they don't get their second wave of reinforcements if you wipe them out you can get a victory I mean cuz look none of these guys got in the battle and none of these guys got in the battle and these guys did get in the battle and they got hurt pretty much so yeah it's unsatisfying I mean, the idea is that the, the whole point of of doing this is to get all your units trained up, right? Oh, boy. BG South, 35, I'll just say early win <laughs> okay early win okay so with that i'm gonna go ahead and end the video and then i'm gonna start another video of doing this battle again um and and not take the flag so we can go into the the next day okay and so, but at least I have this saves in case, you know, if somebody feels that I should just do it that way. But I, I, I don't know. So, yeah. I mean, so it's not even worth doing anything at this point. I can just... You can, you can see my units here. You can see what I did to get the victory. And, but these are the only units that fought in the battle. And so now I'm going to have to do it again. So, yeah. So, no matter where you are in the world, please have a great day, great afternoon, great evening. Please take care of yourself. Be kind to others. God bless to you and your own religion. Your friend Jeff signing out. Adios, amigos, and adios, the lovely amigas.